in other words, uh, the Iblisi forces uh, will push back, and uh, at their meeting at uh, a, a head-to-head standoff uh, with the uh, brothers, brothers, incorporated brothers with the Allied coalition forces, uh, they faced off, and uh, at a stalemate there in in Ar- Arabin and uh, Arhash Minor and Major. We, we do realize and recognize that uh, Wales uh, how, was not entirely uh, taken back by the coalition forces. The coalition forces managed to take back part of, 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 of Wales, not the entire Wales. However, uh, the situation is not the same. Uh, one can definitely compare to what is happening in, in, in Ukraine. Uh, by the way, uh, Ukraine, Allah Ta'ala give you patience, Ukraine. Allah Ta'ala give you, inshallah, peace and uh, a, a reward for the destruction of the civil uh, infrastructure there. Uh, getting on, however, with... Uh, the situation here in the United States of America, again, as the uh, the Quranic Revolution 2021-2022 declaration uh, takes off uh, with this second Ramadan, as we uh, know it, uh, this is the second Ramadan since the Quranic Revolution uh, began to, to actually uh, sh- uh, weigh in uh, and the numerous uh, charges, uh, the numerous... Uh, questions which were yet to be addressed by uh, the uh, bodies of leaders in the uh, capital of the Iblisi uh, forces. Now, we also are going to give a very clear indication as to the Imamul Kazibin. Uh, the Brothers of Brothers Incorporated Brothers did uh, pass also uh, to that effect. Uh, what the Brothers of Brothers Incorporated uh, is saying is that no more calling anyone Imam Kazib or Imam Dal or Imam Fasiq or Imam Fasid. Uh, there's only one Imam now, and this one Imam is the only one that will be called uh, Imam. And otherwise, uh, those who are not imams are definitely already in that category mentioned earlier. Now, the reason, again, um, uh, the first of all is that the Qur'an is not uh, something in which uh, the brothers, brothers and incorporated brothers in, in allied coalition forces, uh, spiritual allied uh, coalition forces, that is, uh, they do not find the Qur'an uh, to be something in which uh, one can say they are practicing, but they do not uh, actually know. Uh, and because of the fact that they do not know, uh, then they cannot possibly be practicing what it is that they do not know. Um, and of course, uh, the, the the very first was the financial infrastructure of these uh, centers or so quote unquote uh, uh, Muslim communities uh, as they're known uh, in vast uh, Western Hemispheric uh, regions. Uh, these these places uh, have been set up. Uh, very well set up and in uh, what we know as a capitalist uh, model form. And because of the fact that they've been set up that way, they are definitely not of the uh, Qur'an which everybody accepts. Now, the question is, what corrections can be made? And number one, will any accept uh, uh, changes? Uh, and the answer, uh, plain, simple, uh, is no. There has not been, unlike last year, where uh, offers were made to the coalition forces uh, money-wise in order you know, to keep uh, just as a gift, which was called back then a bribe. Uh, the Mujtahid al-Sharif uh, says that that was definitely not meant for him. That was a bribe, and he completely rejected it. And since then, there has been absolutely uh, no further discussion onto uh, the the platform of uh, uh, collaboration between the two. However, uh, there has been a numerous action and activity uh, also in those uh, frontiers or in, in those particular aspects of, of this campaign, uh, this campaign in where, again, uh, the Qur'an is the soul of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if we are going to 
Uh, and this is this is something in which you know majority of the officials of the People's Republic of La Ilaha Illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are very uh, direct about, and that is that the atrocities against the Quran uh, will not sustain. And these atrocities in which are being mentioned is the fact that uh, the level of education in the Muslim communities or quote unquote centers. Uh, which are very well business-like established according to the capitalistic uh, or modern-day's capital model. Um, modern-day's capital model, there is certainly uh, a clear indication that this is something in which the model itself is at fault. Uh, the, 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 it's called a baseless, uh, baseless model. And because of the fact that the practice of the Qur'an is not uh, appropriated and, and by no means can a chart be shown to where there has been increase in the level of, of, of education, Qur'anic and Islamic education, well, I will say and, and stick to Qur'anic and Sunnah education. Um, what we actually see in, the, uh, in, the, in that particular industry uh, maybe 12, uh, 13 years ago, well, let's just say 20, a good 20 years ago, you had at least three schools. Uh, now we're down to one school with a whole lot less because people do not want to send uh, their children to um, uh, uh, the Islamic uh, school. This Islamic school is now one school. They do not want to send their children there because it's too expensive. Um, and on top of that, the amount of Quran that is being taught there is also definite is also is also very 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 hard to swallow in that, in terms of what uh, the pro progress is in that particular perspective. Uh, but not only that, the uh, parents and children like the level of education which majority and this is from indigenous all the way through. Uh, the non and you know immigrant uh, American or second generation uh, American Muslims is that uh, you actually have um, in both cases so the indigenous as well as the uh, as well as the immigrant Muslim. What we have still is the fact that the level of Quranic education is at an elementary level at best to where people are growing up not according or unbecoming of what it is in which the message which 